Hello everyone, I am Sai Chitanya. Welcome to SciTechCur. In this video, I am going to compare the Face ID unlocking speed test between the Realme X versus uh, Redmi K20 Pro device. And both of these smartphones I am using for a very very long time. After one year, this kind of review I am doing in terms of the pop-up camera functionality, which phone has the fastest uh, pop-up camera unlocking even after using for one year. And if you're watching first time this channel, do subscribe uh, to my channel, Sciotech Guru. And also do check the links in description also exactly what wallpapers I'm using currently. So even recently I did a video on the live train wallpaper. So try to check that video. And also for more in detail reviews about the wallpapers for the notch or any punch holes. So there's special uh, playlist which I created only for the wallpapers. And also uh, MI12 uh, update I have received in the Redmi K20 Pro and I'll also try to check that playlist for more details. And let's get started with the Face ID unlocking speed test between both the phones. So one thing I need to uh, clarify is that from the day of day one to till now, Realme X uh, is a very fast and reliable uh, Face ID unlocking and which has got uh, so many functionalities which is inbuilt uh, in this phone from the starting day to till now. So whereas the Redmi K20 Pro on the other hand doesn't have any much customization and much options and um, Next thing is that after the MIUI 12 update, the Face ID unlocking speed got uh, increased in the Redmi K20 Pro. So even I did another video on that. So try to check that uh, playlist. So let's get started with the first uh, disadvantage of the Redmi uh, K20 Pro is that when you press the Realme X power button, as you can see, the pop-up camera comes and it will unlock. But whereas in the Redmi K20 Pro device, so you need to swipe the phone upside to scan your face, as you can see. So for me, I do like this kind of faster way to unlock the device in the Realme uh, X phone. So which is a very good option in this Realme X phone. Still, even till now, I am very much uh, used to this Realme X. But whereas in the Redmi K20 Pro, I didn't like uh, the option of swiping upside every time to unlock. So at least in the Realme X, so you do have the option to choose power button or swiping upside in case if you're worrying about the uh, accidental touch with the power uh, power button when you place your phone in the pockets if you're worrying that there's an option to disable that one as well but there's nothing no options at all so uh, right now for the for this test alone so let me compare side by side when the redmi uh, screen is on and this is off so where the realme x can do better job when it's off so let me try to uh, start at same time so as you can see here, even now the Realme X is a clear winner in terms of the faster unlocking speed. So let's see when the phone is off and uh, how much time it, uh, it takes between both the phones. As you can see here friends, there's a little bit of um, delay because of the swiping uh, new method. So these are one thing which from the day one to till now i don't at all like in the redmi k20 pro seriously i don't like this kind of usage even in the oneplus 7 pro device there's option of uh, pressing the power button to unlock with pop-up camera as you can see so without even uh, swiping upside at least there should be this kind of mechanism friends uh come on seriously redmi they should update uh, maybe in the future with these things and next thing what i'm talking about the new functionalities in the face and unlocking is let me show you side by side what are the different settings you do get so you can understand clearly how much in-depth uh, settings the realme uh, x phone has in terms of the face id unlocking so let me uh, enter the passwords in both the phones so as you can just look at this comparison friends seriously it's uh, not at all great for the redmi k20 pro so they do have only one option unlock using the face ID and adding the face that's it so that's the basic options you do get but we don't want the basic options we talk, we want uh, another next level customization with the everything but so in this case the realme x is a clear winner in having so many customization for example you can even lock the applications by using the face ID unlocking so let me show you so right now in the messaging app I put the app lock so it uh, it requests the fingerprint or the face ID to unlock the this application as you can see, as soon as I open the messaging, uh, the pop-up camera comes very faster. So this is a faster way to um, app lock, use the app lock as well. And next is auto brightness compensation, which is another good advantage. In terms of the uh, dark conditions, the Realme X performs pretty good because the screen brightness increases under the dark con conditions and you do get uh, accurate face ID results. So where is no option is present in the Redmi K20 Pro. And next is a do not recognize eyes uh, like face when the 
closed eyes so definitely you can enable this option in case if you're worrying that uh, your friends might unlock your phone or your partner or your lover or anyone someone if they try to unlock when you're sleeping then this definitely you can enable this option but there's no such options here nothing in the redmi k20 pro and as i said even there's an option for the swipe up on lock screen to use same kind of thing but i i will never do that i'll always use the power button only to the faster way to unlock so definitely friends in terms of the face id unlocking and face id features you do get the realme x users you are very lucky and definitely i can say uh this can be a small small changes but definitely they'll impact a lot in uh, everyday life so this what uh, small things matters a more in the realme x phone so thank you for watching this video this is overall review uh, and comparison between side by side after one year of using the pop up cameras side by side so definitely i didn't feel any problem with both of the pop up cameras till now after using for very very long time so don't forget to subscribe uh, to my channel for more in detail reviews so that's it for this video see you in the next video until then bye